are sick and they have broken heart, please help them heal. Please, please, God, help people drive on the road God, good and help them not have accident. If they do have accident, please help them help them survive. We welcome our preacher of today, Sister Grace Kabinga, and his interpreter, Papa Aristot. To nam kari bishe wetu mubir wetu alo dara grace Kabinga nam tafsi waki Papa Aristot. Shalom El Shaddai family. And Merry Christmas. Hey, ano atakia um, sikuku ya Noel njema. Today we are celebrating the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Siku ya leo tuna kuja ku celebrate siku ya mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo. My name is Grace Kibibi. And I am 11 years old and the daughter of Papa Aristotle and Mama Chantel. Okay, kwa majina naitwa Grace Kibebe, niko mtoto wa Papa Aristotle na Mama Chantal. I have three young brothers named Martin, Moses and Joseph. Nina wa dogo zangu watatu ambao wako wa kunifuata ni Martin, Moses na Joseph. Today I am going to be preaching about a room for Jesus Christ. Leo ntahubiri kuhusu kuzaliwa kwa Yesu Kristo. Let us read in the gospel. Acha tusome katika injili. Please turn to Luke chapter 2 verse 7. Ebu fungueni Biblia zenu tusome katika kitabu cha Luka sura ya pili mstari wa saba. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in a manger because there were no guest room available for them. Hii inatafsiriwa katika Kiswahili. Tusome katika Kiswahili nasema akamzaa mtoto wake akamvisha mavazi ya kitoto akamlaza katika lisho la ngombe kwa sababu apakukua nafasi ya wageni Why must the savior be born in a manger? Kwa nini mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo amezaliwa katika Uh, wanyama katika nyumba wanyama I understand they did not have the revelation of who is going to be born Na fikiri ni kwa sababu atukukua na ufunuo ya kwamba ni nani ambaye atakayezaliwa Everyone was busy thinking about themselves Kipindi hicho kila mtu ama kila familia walikuwa wakijifikiria wenyewe Same thing as our generation today. Na haya ni kama haya iki kizazi kietu kia leo. We don't think about Jesus. Atufikiri kuhusu neno la Mungu kuhusu mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo. We only think about ourselves. Tunajifikiria sisi wenyewe. Children don't follow instructions given by their parents kwa kipindi hiki watoto hawafati mashauri kutoka kwa wazazi wao We all must have a room for Jesus Christ. Tunapaswa sisi wote tukuwe na nafasi kwa Yesu Kristo. Do you have a room for Jesus Christ? Je, una nafasi kwa Yesu? Please start a relationship with Jesus Christ today and your life will never be the same. Haya, tuanze kuwa tuwe na uhusiano na Yesu Kristo na tutaona gisi maisha yetu yanabadilika kuanzia leo. Have a merry Christmas in 2023. Uh, 
Shalom and God bless you all. Na watakia Noeli njema ya mwaka 2023. Shalom na Mungu awabariki. We welcome Pastor Prince for the rest of the service. And may Mama. God bless you all. Amen. Tuwakaribisha Pastor. Tushangilie kwanza watoto wetu sifa na Grace na wako ya pia. Unyo tu mkono wako. Kuya lampa. So gonna pray for you, okay? So that next time you do better than today. Amen. So mkwamatana mikono na uko nyuko tu inua mkono wako wa kuume tuombea watoto baba tunaombea au watoto wametulisha leo neno lako wameongoza ibada tunaombea kwamba Mungu endelee kuatia nguvu na endelee kuwa pamoja nao katika china la Yesu vile wameanza leo wasingilirudi nyuma tunahitaji bwana wa majeshi mu December 2023 Grace akuje tena na revelation ya mupya kwa china la Yesu. Umfanye kuwa mhubiri wako kwa sababu ulisema kwamba mavuno ni mengi lakini watendakazi ni wachache. Baba lampa iko hapa, sife iko hapa na grace naye iko hapa. Uwachague pia katika watendakazi. Wala ambao waliimba pia leo uwachague. Zawadi, Martin pia kumlango, baba uwachague. Kwa jina lako tulomba tukiamini. Amen. <laughs>